Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 8 of Let's Play Zelda 2. And we're gonna go ahead and head north now, I suppose. Jeez, mm, it's been like weeks since I recorded this, so sorry if I sound kinda out of it here. It's also about 3.30 a.m., so, I don't know, man. But you know what, I was bored and no one's streaming tonight, so I figured what the hell. Alright, uh, what did we even do last time? Well, we got to this new continent last time. We also got this new fire spell here, which you need to take care of the blue enemies. Not all the blue enemies, there's a few that you don't really need it for. You can only think of the Octoroks right now that you don't need it for the blue ones, but... Oh, uh, there you go. Alright, so, uh, we're pretty much just... Pretty much just head to the fourth palace right about now, but... Well, actually, no, that's not entirely true. There's a few things we have to do few errands we have to run, if you will, before we actually get into the fourth palace here. Namely, we have one more spell to pick up, and we have to get the upward thrust, which is not nearly as useful as the downward thrust, as you can see here. Yeah, those eyeball enemies, they fall pretty easily to the downward thrust. You can see I'm just taking them out in two. Here's a one-up doll, by the way. A funny thing about the one-up doll is that if you actually cast shield in an area with a one-up doll, then the one-up doll's tunic will also turn red. It's really cool. <laughs> it's It just shows the limitations of, like, the 8-bit palette thing on the NES, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, now we got this guy in here. Okay. Basically, what I like to do is, like, just kind of... He's kind of like an iron knuckle the way you fight him. You want to stab him in the head like that. But you don't, like, advance on him. You just kind of stay in the spot and duck and shoot like that. And the reason you duck is because pretty much every time he just stabs low, and if you're ducking and you'll block it most of the time. I mean, you won't you won't block it all the time. You can get hit to like five percent of the time, I guess. But whatever, that's the safest way I've seen to fight him. So, oh yeah, we just picked up that little kid, by the way. Picked him up by his legs, and we're gonna take him back to his mommy now. I'm gonna see how old his mom is. That's just gonna be weird, man. I always found it so weird how old his mom is, because he looks like, he doesn't look that old, he looks like a little baby, but, I don't know, man. There's some weird happenings in these woods, I guess. Uh, except the town is not in the woods, it's actually in the desert. You know, I actually saw this glitch really recently, I'm not sure if it actually, like, works. I, I don't even remember how it happened, so, uh, I'm not really tempted to try it, but it was in this town, and, like made you access a weird, like, town out in the middle of the ocean, and I'm about to die here. <laughs> I'm just getting careless. They're on me! I'm getting careless! Alright. Oh yeah, we got some more of these predetermined spots here. Yeah, you see these blue Octoroks, you don't need fire for them, so that's good. These areas aren't too hard, though. You just kind of gotta watch out for the pits, that's the main issue. Especially with the next one, because the, there's, like, one area, just a few... I think it's just two squares after this one. And it's basically the exact same thing you'll see here. Except there's bubbles thrown in. So you gotta watch out for those when crossing the gaps. Otherwise you'll just get thrust right back into it. And instantly die. So be sure to avoid that at all costs. Because you know that's the most that's just the worst way to die in this game. It's just to be crossing a gap and then all of a sudden something comes out of nowhere and hits you and you just fall backwards and you can't do a damn thing about it. It's just the saddest thing ever. I think this is Darunia, right? Um, yep, Darunia. Mountain Town makes sense, don't it? All right. Uh, what do you say? You must save Hyrule. Yes, I know. Oh, don't remind me of what I have to do. Oh, that's crazy. This is going to be one of the last videos of 2011, now that I think about it. If it if it does, in fact, get uploaded in 2011, it might not. <laughs> we'll see how lazy I am. Because, you know, I have been making a lot of excuses for myself that I really shouldn't be like, oh, I have a lot of work to do. And I actually do have homework to do over the Christmas break, which sucks, but mostly the reason I haven't been uploading lately is just because I'm so goddamn lazy. And that's really about the best I can offer. Speaking of lazy, look at our experience. We got 7-Eleven up there. That's the pinnacle of lazy. Alright, here we go. When you jump, press up to stab. Sweet. There's a few instances where this is pretty useful, but... Overall, it's not that great. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know, something about the, that sprite looks really pretentious to me. Like, Link is just way too happy about being able to stab up like that. Like, ugh! I don't know. 
It just never seemed as powerful as the f sprite when you do the downward stab. Whatever, though. Alright, yeah, we gotta fill up on magic here. Is there a magic lady in this town? For some reason, I remember there not being one. Here's the lady who lost her child, by the way. You're a hero for saving my child. Come. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can so tell that they just ran out of space. They didn't even, they didn't even punctuate the come part. That's just weird. Alright, what spell do we learn here again? Uh, oh yeah, it's reflect, ain't it? Let's see. This magic will strengthen a shield. You know, I was so stupid about this my first time playing through because, yeah, we got reflect here. And basically that means that uh, certain projectiles that your shield couldn't bounce back before, it will be able to bounce them back after you cast that. But I thought as a kid that that meant, like, you could cast the shield spell and then you could cast reflect after you've cast that spell and you take, like, even less damage. That's what I thought it meant because he's like, it'll strengthen your shield. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, there is no magic lady in here, so... Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I was just weird. Alright, yeah. Oh, did you see what I did there? I made sure that the enemy was on the same spot as the predetermined spot, so I wouldn't have to go back through it again. I mean, I showed it off the first time just for the hell of the LP. And I guess I'll show it off again here, too. Because it's not that bad. It really isn't. Man, I don't feel I don't feel safe just wandering around with that little one-bar magic up there. But you know what, we're actually going to get a magic container pretty soon here, and we got this too, so that's nice. Man, I don't remember my levels being this high. This is weird. God, I have no idea how long I'm going to record. I could practically just record the whole rest of this LP right here, right now. I'm tempted, I really am, but... I don't know. Like, you can feel really motivated like that at one instant, and then like a few hours into the recording or whatever, you're just kind of pooped. Because you've been talking for so long, you're wearing yourself out. So I don't know. The hard encounters in these forests aren't too bad, as you can see. It's just the spiders and some eyeballs. It's actually a pretty good experience if you just want to grind up a little, little bit. There are, there are, It's not really the best place to grind, but uh, it's not bad either. Alright, yeah, now we got to wander through this maze. The only redeeming factor I can say about this maze... I kind of put myself in a bad spot here. Let me try and fix that. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I don't know, I just, I didn't want to be between the spider and that dog, because that could have, because then I'd have to be fighting in two directions at once, and that's just, that just really wouldn't work. I mean, you've seen me try to do that before with those, like, lion head guys, those Aslan guys in the temples, but. Uh, yeah, the, it's just good that this maze is made out of the yellow path, so there's no monster encounters. Here's your magic container, by the way, is on this spot right here. So there you go. And once more, you can fill up with magic at the statue once you get to the palace, so that's good too. I'm not exactly sure what the, like the fastest way through this place is to have like the least amount of predetermined squares, but I just generally go the same way every time. Even though you like run into like four squares like this, it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty easy. So who cares? All right, yeah, we got our fire again here. I don't know, for, for some reason I'm always just tempted to kill these dogs. They're just way too spiky for my liking. Alright, we got this here, so... Oh, let's just buff up, why not? <laughs> let's go crazy with the buffs. Sweet. Alright. I just hear someone call my name, that would be crazy. Because everyone in my house is asleep right now. I don't know, maybe I'm talking too loud and I woke them up. Oh, jeez, I'd have that problem if I was Patrick, but... <laughs> no. I'm Argon, so I don't I don't talk very loud, at least not most of the time. Alright, dude. I hate these spiders though. They're always just so erratic. Did he just fall off the side of the screen? Well that's fine by me, you know. So I don't really like to deal with them. Yeah. Like I said, the fire spell isn't really all that useful most of the time, but if you're if you have it on, then you might as well use it, because it is a projectile, so it's pretty convenient. It's just I don't know, just it doesn't feel good to have to go out of your way all the time to cast it. I don't know. Here's the upward thrust, by the way. You can just stab an enemy, like, on a ledge just above you. It's pretty cool. And, of course, you can, like, use it to break blocks that are just above your head, too. Alright, I think this is the... Se this is either the last or the second-to-last random plot that we have to go over before we reach the palace here. It's not that tough to figure out. It's not really a maze here. 
It's just kind of like... I don't know, it's kind of like an endurance round more than anything. Oh, I can hear my cat back there. I hope she doesn't come at me. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I make it sound like it's going to be so violent. Oh yeah, she's going to come at me. And she's going to destroy me. She's going to smash my face with an iron! Oh god, I just saw that movie not too long ago, Home Alone. That's awesome. I think the most hilarious part about that quote, the smash his face with an iron, is just the camera angle, because you can just like see the sides of their faces. It's so funny. <laughs>